the toughest thing about personal branding i would say is uh, to start you know it's incredibly difficult to figure out what you're going to post about where you want to start posting and uh, you know uh, how do you go about this entire journey so that is daunting not just uh, you know i would say for educators but for everyone even for influencers today who have millions of followers that first step was incredibly difficult and uh, they've gone through the ups and downs of course so uh, how do you go about this uh, well uh, the easiest way is to figure out what comes more naturally to you uh, does clicking pictures come more naturally are you a good writer and writing comes more naturally to you or uh, you know this uh, being in front of a camera and talking does that come more naturally to you so whatever it is uh zero in on that first and accordingly choose a platform that pr- uh, promotes that sort of content so if clicking pictures comes naturally to you start with instagram do, you do not have to start with linkedin even though your target audience according to you are on linkedin so you can be rest assured that today everyone is there on every platform or at least most of them so go with the easiest one that comes to you the most naturally uh you know the one that you are using in your day to day life the most if you are using facebook the most start with that so it, 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 the transition would be easier right and uh, what do you post about well uh, the easiest uh, thing there to do would be to take inspiration from your physical world as an educator on a daily basis right whether it's parents students teachers or other stakeholders they come to you with problems queries suggestions take those as inspiration for posts so if it's a problem that one person faces in your university or has come to you with probably when you post online thousands and thousands of people will have the exact same problem and will benefit from your solution so that would be you know your your way to go and just always keep thinking about the audience forget about thinking about your uh, you know building your own personal brand as long as your content helps someone uh, in the right way people will start following you so you know you do not have to think about algorithms and you do not have to think about going and uh, liking so many instagram things and all these things that agencies keep telling you to, to do and to grow your network and all of that you do not really have to think about that as long as uh, you know you're helping your audience with your content and you're uh, sharing valuable uh, uh, content you will become popular there is no way you won't right so decide on what comes naturally to you supposing clicking pictures is what you've gone ahead with and you are a dean of a institution mix those two up use instagram as the platform you know on a daily basis click a picture of the campus of the people on the campus the energy on the campus maybe at the break room maybe in the faculty meeting and start posting that you'll steadily see you know your followers growing maybe initially they come from your uh, university students maybe then it goes to teachers finally it will go it will spread to others and you'll start gaining popularity from there and once you've dominated instagram if you decide to move to linkedin you will already move with a certain amount of followers so it becomes a lot easier to conquer a platform like linkedin from there uh, even though you started your journey on instagram right so at the end of the day uh, start it's tough for everyone it, it is tough for uh, you know guys who have million for fo- million followers now it's tough for the people whose posts you are consuming on a daily basis so it the, the journey is same for everyone just start off uh, it might not be great uh, you know the first week the next week and maybe even for a month but it will get easier and uh, you know your followers will increase as long as you have the right intention